and welcome to Inside Out. Three stories for you from where you live. Tonight, the dream of park home living. What happens when it all goes horrible? This is absolutely horrendous. That's my car parking space. This is my house. And look at all this bloody rubbish. I'm Sam Smith, and this is Inside Out Southwest. This is Oaklands near Oakhampton. It's one of the Southwest's many park home sites. These aren't holiday homes, people live here all year round. The caravans are affordable and the sites are often in fantastic locations. What could possibly go wrong living somewhere like this? I don't want this here. I don't want it in front of my house. It's disgraceful, but it's just, it's just typical of what's happening all over the place. He, he says, this is my land, I can do what, what I like. I just do not understand this. At Oakland's, clearly all is not well. Yeah, look at the dump. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at all this rubbish. And this isn't the first time that Inside Out has discovered problems here. A few years ago, I came here to investigate complaints against the man who was operating the site. Well, since then, it's changed hands. But according to some of the residents, that's just brought a fresh set of problems. The new operator is Joe, or JJ, Cooper. He's the man on the left wearing a tie. According to owners in a quarter of the caravans at Oaklands, Mr Cooper's making their lives a misery, an allegation he strongly denies. One of those residents is pensioner Femi Henderson. This is her carport, which was built, she says, with the permission of the previous operator and the council. Now it's to be demolished and her parking space moved, as she told a meeting of other disgruntled residents. Femi, tell, t tell me what happened about the carport. He said he could take the, the, the carports down. I said, no, I'm sorry, you can't. And I told him I was disabled, that I had to have the car as near as possible. Yeah. So how and did I you said, feel? No, we can't. How did you feel? Well, I thought, you know, what is this, you know? Okay. He can't just do that in this day and age. Mm. Roger, I mean, Roger, what do you think about that story? It's disgraceful, but it's, it's, it's just typical of what's happening all over the place. Mm. And myself, um, I went to pay my rent back in April when he first took over the site, and my rent's been refused, and, I've, and he's not accepted any rent from me at all. Mm. But this uh, JJ Cooper has refused to accept any standing that. orders or he direct debits. Mm. Yeah, he's refused all that and, and he wants to be paid in cash or by cheque every Monday between half past two and six o'clock. So, so and what's, it, what's it done to the experience of living here dreadful. under this new regime? Well, you don't know what's happening. He never says. They don't tell you what is actually happening. Problems like this are common nationwide, according to campaigners for park home owners. They say site operators elsewhere in the country have deliberately tried to get rid of residents. That's because while some operators make their money from charging a ground rent, they claim others make much more by selling new caravans or taking commission on the sale of second-hand vans. I mean, it's the only industry where you pay three times for the same thing. You pay a whacking rate piece on when you buy it, you're paying ground rent to keep it on the site and you're paying him 10% when you sell it. So he's, that actually acts as an incentive for a bad site owner to try and get you off because he gets 10%. Pat Cousins, a nurse who cares for the elderly, has lived here for nearly 10 years. She says she feels intimidated because Mr Cooper has questioned her right to stay on the park and she says he's refused to accept her ground rent. The letter I sent him was actually torn in pieces, my cheque and the letter. How did you feel? Oh, I felt scared actually. You know, I felt really scared and intimidated and aggravated and angry. And I thought Mr Cooper is playing cat and mouse game. Why would he want to get rid of you though? This is quite a lovely sight with the views. Um, 
you know, with the river, the hills, and the, the trees, the fields, Mr. Cooper could put an absolutely marvelous um, home here, and um, for maybe 200,000. It's the money. We wanted to put the residents' concerns to Mr. Cooper. He didn't want to be interviewed on camera, but he did agree to talk on the phone. Hello, is that Mr. Cooper? Hello, it's Sam Smith here from uh, the BBC, from Inside Out. He denied he's trying to get rid of Pat or anyone else on the site, or that he's returned any ripped up checks, or refused anyone's rent. He said he was flexible over when rent was paid, and that Pat was involved in a long-standing rent dispute. He says he's entitled to move parking spaces and to demolish Famy's carport. He said the vast majority of his residents were perfectly happy. Bloody hell! But back on site, the remains of a demolished caravan have just been dumped outside Pat's home. This is certainly not on, and that's my car parking space. This is my house, and look at all this bloody rubbish. No, this is not on, honestly. This is what I call more than harassment. This, this man, we later learn, is Mr. Cooper's son in law, a Mr. Valor. Really no comment here. You got permission for this camera? Sorry, who are you? One of the owners. You, you own, I thought yeah. the. Um, Mr. Cooper and I own it. I you, Mr. And you are? Sorry, I'm interrupting. It doesn't and matter. You are, well, I live okay. here. Okay. If you're the owner, I There's should. There's no comments in a minute. You've got no permission for that camera, so if you can put it away. Sorry, I'm not sure who you are. I'm actually associated with Mr. Cooper's, so I'm asking for the camera to put away. That's it. There's no reason for any of this. People there trying is. to. There's nothing. It's there is. What's going on? Look at the rubbish. There is. Well, it's, you know, it's just been done. It's going to be sorted. That out. is my parking lot. There. That's not your parking space. That is my parking space. There's, there's, there's an area at the top of the parking lot. I live here. There. Whoever you are, I no, live I here. And me. this what's is my. There's, 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 well, not, there's no problem here. The impact's invitation. I understand, but I'm not doing nothing home. wrong. So why are you filming? Yes, you are. What are you doing? A great deal wrong. That is my parking space. If you don't that is my house. And this is all rubbish that you put. I don't think that's right. There you go. We Fair enough. You to call the police okay. We're here at the invitation. Understand, but there's no invitation on the park. There's, there's no pro there's no problems here. Well, this is Pat's home. Please, please. And certainly, you are yeah. not the owner. You're not even the park operator. Mr. Cooper later told us that Mr. Valor hadn't realised that Pat used her parking space, and that when she pointed this out, it was cleared immediately. And this is in front of my house, and that is mine, and this is my parking space. How dare you do things like that? You, how dare you? Oh yes, you think you're a God's gift on earth, you've done it. <laughs> Mr. Valor gets on the phone to the police and we all await their arrival. I'm hoping the police will come so that we could deal with this. And indeed, they do come. But Mr. Valor has disappeared, leaving the local Bobby to sort out the mess. At the moment, he you hasn't. still get in there, can't you? I mean, he, That's his beside argument, the point, his Andy. argument is that you don't have a right to park here. I have here. a right to park here. You're saying you yes, have a right to park Yes, I have a right here. to park here. I've never seen anything like A it. quick check on the site plan yeah. displayed at the site office confirms that, horrible. indeed, Pat's parking space is now buried under rubble. I don't understand why they're allowed to do this. I mean, a quick word with the contractors soon has Pat's space restored, but not her peace of mind. For you, it's very distressing. Well, it's more than distressing, actually. This is, this is making me sick. This is really making me ill. Mr Cooper told us that he'd noted the residents' concerns and he hoped to establish satisfactory relations with all of them in the long term. Wait for the camera. The possibility, then, of a compromise. But in Ron Joyce's experience, happy endings are the exception to the rule. He believes the law governing park homes is fundamentally flawed. Even if you use your worst imagination, you couldn't come up with some of the stuff that comes out in this game. You really couldn't. It's happening to people every day, and more and more every day. And there's nothing really to stop them under the law. This mobile home act depends, and this is government granted us this lovely privilege, it, for enforcement, it depends on enforcement, on a little old lady, a gentleman, 80, 90 years old, taking the site owner to court. 
which is going to cost them thousands of pounds and probably take two, three, four years and no guarantee of success either. The doctor says to me, um, well, I could say, give you a letter saying that you're stressed, and I, but what would a letter do saying that you're stressed? I've still got to work, I've still got to live here and still tolerate the anxiety of what we're going through.